Hey guys, DJ360 Mix here with a repair for an iMac 27 inch. I was replacing the fan because it was making noise. Actually, I wanted to clean it out and lube it out. Um, and I noticed that this, the I heard a click while I was taking everything apart. Before I even took the screen out, I heard a click, which meant was that this, the spring that holds the tension on the display to stay perpendicular to where you're sitting, uh, and of course the swivel, the up and down, it wasn't staying in the position anymore because the tension was loose. So what, before I get into anything, let me show you real quick. These are the springs that hold the display into, into piece. I mean, sorry, into place. This is the design that Apple did. The top one is the broken one. The bottom one is the one that works. These are the two little plastic pieces that are holding your screen up and down. Yes, this is the little thing that holds the tension. That spring has a shit load of uh, pounds um, to hold this thing up because it's such a small spring. But if you see the size of that spring, it is a very heavy duty spring. And that is being held by plastic. And why do they make it out of plastic? Very, very simple. This is not a design flaw. This is purposely built this way. So in a couple of years, this thing breaks and then you need to basically buy a new Mac because they're not going to fix that. Uh, what happens is, uh, as you can see in the bottom, it's a little white already. That one has not failed, but that's about to fail already because it, this Mac is uh, from a 2000, 2012. I use it almost every day. So with the heat uh, and the stress that that plastic is having, it's going to snap. And when that snaps, there goes your iMac. It doesn't stand anymore, which means you're going to go buy a new one or prop it up somehow. So <clears throat> the solution is to go ahead and get one of these brackets <clears throat> from uh, Home Depot. I cut the two little pieces. Here's the here's a, the small piece. Uh, I, I cut two, two small little pieces here and here. Okay, I installed one already, and then you're going to cut another piece. You can actually cut a long piece and just hold it, which it's the same thing. But anyway, what you're doing is you're basically getting this little piece. This is what you want to do. You notice how it's longer on one side. That's what's going to hold this guy right here. Okay, so you're going to push it down, and you're going to put the screw in, and it's going to hold it there. As you can see, this one, this one's already fixed. Okay. That spring is in there. It's very hard to get that tension to push that down and then put the screw in. But that's how you fix it. Okay. Um, I'll cut into... Actually, I'm not going to cut into it because I'm not going to edit this video. This is just a very quick thing. But basically, once you put this one down and you put the screw in, you're good to go. That's not going to come loose uh, or break. Because there is no plastic parts in any of this here. None whatsoever. They only put it there so it can break. I mean... It, it's it's obvious. I mean, it's definitely obvious. Look how many hex screws they have, torque screws they have just to hold the, the, the bar here. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I mean, fucking ten of them. Um, again, all of these are all metal. And, of course, they put those two out of plastic so the shit breaks. Really smart Apple, but I look way past you. They could have made a little bar from here to here made out of metal, and it would have never failed. But they want it to fail. So there you go. Apple 27 inch iMac. And that's the long view of the computer taken apart. And what you want to do is you want to prop it up. Let's see if I can take that. Take a picture of that. See how it's propped up. You want to prop it up so you can re reduce a little bit of the tension. And put it in and you're good to go. Sorry for the long video. This is not a how-to. This is just basically how to fix it, okay? Um, if you want to take your iMac apart, go to ifixit.com. Um, do searches on the internet for how to open your Mac or, or your iMac. This is not a video for that. It's just to fix that. If you guys have any comments or anything, leave it below. Take care.